In this video, we're going to look at the preflight function built into wp to print Here we are in the administrative side, where we can see the order we just received. Scrolling down, we can see that as part of the order, the customer has uploaded two files. Here are the files. They are both one-page PDF files. The one on the left is a standard, high-resolution file that you would expect would print quite nicely. And the one on the right has been modified. The embedded fonts have been removed, and the zoom level has been increased on some of these images, making their DPI lower. Now we will perform pre-flight analysis on those files. If you scroll down, you will be met with a section labeled pre-flight analysis. And for each of the files attached to the order, you will have a blue Analyze button. To perform the analysis, it's as simple as clicking the button. Here we are analyzing the high-resolution file with embedded fonts. At the top of the analysis result, you can see a global result of pass. Essentially, our preflight analysis has not found any issues that would prevent accurate printing of this document. In the first section, you can see some summary level data. It's checking whether every page in the PDF has the same size bleed box, the same size trim box, etc. A little lower, you have a detailed analysis result for each page in the PDF. So if a PDF contains 10 pages, each page will have its own section just like this one. We have more information on the dimensions and variables of the PDF. Although we do see warning, the analysis has not found anything that is going to cause failure in the printing and the PDF is good to go. Now what this warning is all about is that the system is warning that this particular PDF contains certain colors that are not standard CMYK colors. It could contain Pantone colors, RGB colors, etc. Up here we have more information on the color spaces within this PDF. Just because we have this warning about color spaces does not mean that the PDF will not print correctly. Most printers today know how to handle these different color spaces. It is, however, at least good for you to know that this potential or problem does exist. Now let's perform the analysis on the file labeled Missing Fonts and Low Resolution Images. At the very top, you can see that the global result has now switched to Fail. This means that this PDF contains serious problems that will most likely cause issues during the printing. It's therefore not a good idea to start printing thousands of copies of this file before the problems have been fixed. If we scroll down and take a look at the details, we can see that there are two kinds of problems. Firstly, this Not Embedded Fonts section shows us fonts that were used but not embedded in the PDF as they should be. Secondly, this PDF contains some low-resolution images. Using these links, you can actually see which image in the PDF are low-resolution. Here is one of the images that is detected as low-resolution. Now, the image itself might be quite a large image, but the low-resolution comes from the zoom level that was applied to the image in the PDF, not its actual size. Here our preflight system has detected two types of issues in this PDF. But most importantly, you will know that this particular PDF should not be printed until the serious problems have been fixed. That is the real benefit of the preflight analysis section. It can save you not only embarrassment, but also money by catching problems before you put them on the press.